नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास अगेन नाउ लेट एस सी दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ अ क्लास आर मेड टू स्टैंड इन रोज इफ वन स्टूडेंट इज एक्स्ट्रा इन अ रो देर वुड बी टू रोज लेस एंड इफ वन स्टूडेंट इज लेस इन अ रो देर वुड बी थ्री रोज मोर find the number of student in the class okay now i ask you to solve this problem by yourself if you remember in the last lecture have you solved okay so if you have done this problem let us check with me solution now what is given there are few student in the class find the number of student we have to find in a class now they are made to stand in rows okay they are made to stand in rows let us consider that ki there are x rows and in each row there are y students okay so let us consider let there is x number of rows and in each row there is y number of students okay now as per the condition in problem what is said so first i will say that ki therefore total number of student so therefore total number of student in the class total number of students total number of students in class is xy okay so there is x number of rows and in each row y number of students so total number of students is x into y now if one student is extra in a row there would be two rows less so i will say that ki as per first condition as per first condition if i increase number of student in row by 1 that means if i do y to y plus 1 then x that is number of rows decreases by 2 and yes obviously their product is going to be x into y because that is total number of student so if one student is extra in a row there would be two rows less this is our first condition let us simplify this so from this i will get x y Minus two y plus x minus two is equals to x y. So this x y and x y I can cancel. So this implies that x minus two y is equals to this minus two will go on right hand side and I will have two. This is my first condition. Now as per second condition, as per second condition. Now what is second condition? if one student is less in a row there would be three rows more now if one student we have increased so number of rows is decreased by 2 but if i decrease one student number of rows will increase by 3 so that means y if i decrease one means if i do y minus 1 then this number of rows will increase by 3 and this is also equal to xy so therefore from here i will get xy plus 3y minus x minus 3 is equals to xy this xy xy cancel so this implies minus x plus 3y equal to 3 this is second equation so first equation is x minus 2y is 2 and second equation is minus x plus 3y is equals to 3 so here to solve we will add them so minus x and plus x will cancel so add equation 1 and 2 i will say that add equation 1 and 
So x x will cancel, and here three y minus two y is y is equals to three plus two is five. See y is equals to five. Now put y is equals to five in equation in any of the equation you can put in equation say one. So what is equation one? X minus two y is two. X minus two y is two. So x minus 2 into 5 is equals to 2 so x is equals to 2 plus 10 equal to 12 so therefore number of rows and column okay we have x rows that is there are 12 rows and in each row there are 5 students Uh, so, as I have to find number of student, number of student is x into y. So, therefore, I will say that, therefore, the number of students, number of students in class or in uh, the student of a class here, yeah, the number of students in class is. X into y is equals to twelve into five is equals to sixty. So there are total sixty students in the class. This is question number twenty-four. Now let us move to question number twenty-five. Question number twenty-five is a jeweler has bars of eighteen carat gold and twenty-four twelve carat gold. Okay, how much of each? Must be melted together to obtain a bar of 16 carat gold, weighing 120 gram. Now pure gold is 24 carat. Okay. So what uh, we mean by 24 carat gold? We all know that 24 carat gold is the purest form of gold. Then what is this 18 carat and this 12 carat? So, 18 carat gold means if uh, there is 24 part, okay, of gold, then in that 18 part is pure gold, and rest will be some other metal. So, this is what we understand by 24 carat gold. Okay. So, the problem is a jeweler has bar of 18 carat gold and 12 carat gold. How much of each must be melted? So, let us first. assume that let the jeweler melt x gram of 18 carat gold and y gram of 12 carat gold to get 16 carat gold to get 16 carat gold now here total weight of gold is given 120 g so total weight of gold is total weight i will say that total weight of gold is 120 g now amount of gold in 18 carat gold is equals to amount of gold we have amount of gold in 18 carat gold will be equals to 18 divided by 24 multiplied by x that is uh, so let us keep denominator as 24 only amount of gold in 18 carat gold will be 
18 divided by 24 into x and similarly amount of gold in 12 carat gold will be 12 upon 24 multiplied by y. This is the amount of gold in 12 carat gold, amount of gold in 18 carat gold, ok. And uh, amount of gold in 16 carat gold, also amount of gold in 16 carat gold will be 16 divided by 24 multiplied by now I will take 120 because after mixing the total amount is 120 gram. So, this is 120. Now, as per problem, as per problem, first this x plus y will be equal to 120 because total amount of uh, final gold what I will get is total 120, 120 grams. So, x plus y is 120. This is my first equation. Also, when I mix, when I mix these two golds, the total will be 16 carat gold. So, also this 18 upon 24 x, also 18 upon 24 x plus 12 upon 24 y, this will be equal to I am getting 16 carat gold to so 16 upon 24 into 120. Now, this denominator 24 I can cancel. So, I will get there this implies that 18 x plus 12 y is equal to 16 into 120. Now, 6 I can take common. So, this implies I will take 6 common 6 3 is 18. 6 to the 12 and here it is 16 into 120. So, this implies the value of 3x plus 2y is equal to 16 into 120 divided by 6 which will give me 16 into 6 to the 12 so 16 into 20. So, this implies that 3x plus 2y is equal to 16 into 20, 320. I will consider this as equation number 2. Now, equation number 1 is x plus y is 120 and equation number 2 is 3x plus 2y is 320. So, what I will do? I will multiply equation 1 by 2 to make a coefficient of y same. So, multiply equation 1 by 2. So, I will get 2x plus 2y is equals to now this is 120. So, 120 into 2 is 240. So, consider this as equation number 3. Now, subtract equation 3 from equation 2. I will subtract equation 3 from 2. So, 3 x minus 2 x I will get x, 2 y minus 2 y I will get 0 equal to 3 20 minus 2 40. So, 0 minus 0 0, 12 minus 4 8 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So, x is equal to 8. Put x is equal to 8, x is equal to 80 sorry in equation 1. So, what is equation 1? x plus y equal to 120. So, therefore, 80 plus y equal to 120. Therefore, y equal to 120 minus 80 is equal to 40. So, therefore, I will say that finally, uh, the question is a jeweler has a bar of 18 carat gold and 12 carat gold. How much of each must be melted? So, therefore, Therefore, I will say that uh, 80 gram of 80 gram of 12 carat gold uh, first is 18 carat gold and uh, 12 carat gold. So, uh, 
एटी ग्राम ऑफ एटीन कैरेट गोल्ड मस्ट बी मेल्टेड मस्ट बी मेल्टेड विथ फोर्टी ग्राम ऑफ ट्वेल्व कैरेट गोल्ड टू गेट सिक्सटीन कैरेट गोल्ड ओके सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज लिटिल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर प्रॉब्लम्स राइट सो सिक्सटीन कैरेट गोल्ड मीन्स आई वॉन्ट सिक्सटीन अपॉन ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम्स ओके करेक्टनेस इन द गोल्ड दैट मीन्स आई हैव फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द प्योर अमाउंट ऑफ गोल्ड इन सिक्सटीन कैरेट इट इज सिक्सटीन अपॉन ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू वन ट्वेंटी सो वेन आई मिक्स दीज टू गोल्ड ओके वेन आई मिक्स दीज टू बार्स ओके द अमाउंट ऑफ प्योर गोल्ड इन कॉम्बिनेशन शुड बी इक्वल टू दिस सो दिस इज अवर सेकेंड कंडीशन एंड टोटल आई वन वन ट्वेंटी ग्राम सो एक्स प्लस बाई इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट कंडीशन सो लाइक दैट वी विल फ्रेम लीनियर इक्वेशन एंड देन सॉल्व ओके सो दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ लेट एस सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ए एंड बी टूगेदर कैन डू अ पीस ऑफ वर्क इन फिफ्टीन डेज इफ एज वन डे वर्क इज वन वन एंड वन एंड हाफ टाइम द वन डे वर्क ऑफ बी find in how many day can each do the work okay so i will take this problem from here and let us write here now the question is find how many days can each do the work so i will say from the given question i will say let A work for x days alone. Now, if they are doing work alone, then in how many days they will complete? Now, find in how many days can each do the work? Okay, let A work for x days alone to complete work. and b work for y days to complete work alone okay so if um, a takes x days to complete work so therefore one days work okay always find out what is one days work therefore one days work of a is equals to now it take x days so in one day how much work he will do 1 upon x and similarly one days work of b will be equals to 1 upon y one day work of a is 1 upon x and one day work of b is 1 upon y now is one day work is one and half time the one day work of b so here as per first condition as per uh, what is first condition a and b together can do a piece of work in 15 days okay so if they together do a work in 15 days then in one day they will do work 1 upon 15 na so as per first condition now one day work of a is 1 upon x one day work of b is 1 upon y and this is equals to 1 upon 15 okay this is our equation number 1 also we have a is one day work is 1 and half time b is work so a is one day work that is 1 upon x is 1 1 and half times 1 upon y 
so i will say that this is equals to 3 upon 2 times 1 upon y this is 1 upon x so now i can replace this 1 upon x with 3 upon 2 into 1 upon y okay so by substitution i can do it therefore from equation 1 from 1 what i will say that 3 upon 2 into 1 upon y plus 1 upon y is equals to 1 upon 15. Okay, so 1 upon y I will take common, 1 upon y let us take common. So, it is 3 upon 2 plus 1 is equals to 1 upon 15. Therefore, 1 upon y into 3 upon 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 5 this is 5 upon 2 is equals to 1 upon 15 so therefore let us keep 1 upon y here it will be 1 upon 15 into 2 upon 5 is equals to 15 5 the 75 so it is 2 divided by 75 so therefore y is equals to 75 upon 2 is equal to 2 3 is a 6 1 2 7 is a 14 1 2 5 is a 10. So, that means y is 37.5 that means we can do work completely in 37 and half day. Okay. So, you can also write this as 37 1 by 2. Okay. Now, put 1 upon y is equals to 2 upon 75 in equation 2. Let us put in equation 2. So, equation 2 is 1 upon x equal to 1 upon x is equals to 3 upon 2 into 1 upon y. So, this is equals to 3 upon 2 into 2 upon 75 is equals to 2 to cancel 3 2 the 6 1 3 5 the so 1 upon x equal to 1 upon 25 therefore x equal to 25 so i will say that a alone i will use a small a so, A alone can do work in 25 days and B alone can do work in now what is the value of y? B alone can do work in 37 and half days. In 37 and half days. 25 days A alone can do work in 25 days and B alone can do work in 37 and half days. This is our question number 26. Okay. Now, 27th question. 27th question is, two men and five women can do a piece of work in four days, while one man and one woman can finish it in 12 days. How long it take for one man to do the work? Okay. Hmm. Now, the question is, Two men and five women can do a piece of work in four days. While one man and one woman can finish in 12 days. How long it take for one man to do the work? So, I will say let one man take x days to finish the work 
एंड वन वोमेन टेक वाइड इज टू फिनिश सो देर फोर अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क वन मैन डू इन वन डे विल बी इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एक्स एंड अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क वन वुमेन डू इन वन डे इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन वाई नाउ इन प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट कि इफ देर आर टू मैन एंड फाइव वुमेन देन इट टेक फोर डेज मीन्स इन वन डे टू मैन एंड फाइव वुमेन कैन डू वन अपॉन फोर वर्क सो टू मैन मीन्स टू इन टू वन अपॉन एक्स दिस इज वन डे वर्क ऑफ टू मैन प्लस फाइव वीमेन तो फाइव इंटू वन अपॉन वाई दिस इज वन डे वर्क ऑफ फाइव वीमेन एंड वन डे टोटल वन डे वर्क विल बी वन अपॉन फोर तो दिस इज वन इक्वेशन टू अपॉन एक्स प्लस फाइव अपॉन वाई इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर सो दिस इज इक्वेशन वन ओके ऑल्सो सेकेंड कंडीशन इज वन मैन एंड वन वुमेन कैन फिनिश इट इन ट्वेल्व डेज ओके सेकेंड कंडीशन इज ऑल्सो वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन वाई दे कंप्लीट इन ट्वेल्व डेज ओके सो दैट मीन्स इन वन डे दे विल फिनिश वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व वर्क सो दिस इम्प्लाइज फ्रॉम हियर आई कैन से दैट वन अपॉन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व माइनस वन अपॉन वाई ओके let us consider this as equation number 2 so put i will put substitution method i will use put 1 upon x is equals to 1 upon 12 minus 1 upon y in equation 1 okay so here please note that you can also use 1 upon x as a and 1 upon y as b and you can frame the linear equations and then solve according to your wish now One upon x is one upon twelve minus one upon y. I will put this value in first equation. So, equation number one is two into one upon x. So, from equation number one, two into one upon x is one upon twelve minus one upon y plus five y. So, plus five into 1 upon y, it is 1 upon y. 5 into 1 upon y is equals to I have 1 upon 4, so I will write 1 upon 4. Now, if I open the bracket, I will get 2 upon 12 minus 2 upon y plus 5 upon y equal to 1 upon 4. So here, this two and the two, two six are twelve. Now I move this on right side. So two upon y plus five upon y is what? Five minus two is three. So I get three upon y is equal to one upon four minus one upon six. One upon four minus one upon six is six minus four upon six four is twenty four. So therefore, we have three upon y is equal to six minus four is two. Two upon twenty four. It is equal to one upon twelve. So three upon y is one upon twelve. Therefore, I will cross multiply. Three into twelve is equal to y into one. That is y. So twelve three is a thirty six. So therefore, thirty six is equal to y. Therefore, y equal to thirty six. Now the value of x. Value of x we got. Value of x is. A value of one upon x we got. Value of y is thirty six, and value of one upon y will be one upon thirty six. Okay, so so therefore 
वन अपॉन एक्स इज इक्व टू ना वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वन अपॉन एक्स वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व माइनस वन अपॉन वाई वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व माइनस वन अपॉन थर्टी सिक्स इज इक्व टू ना आई मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री सो इट विल बी थ्री अपॉन थर्टी सिक्स माइनस वन अपॉन थर्टी सिक्स इज इक्व टू टू अपॉन थर्टी सिक्स सो देर फोर वन अपॉन एक्स इज इक्व टू वन अपॉन एटीन देर फोर एक्स इज इक्व टू एटीन नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड एन द प्रॉब्लम इट इज आज हाउ मेनी डेज इट टेक फॉर वन मैन टू डू द वर्क so we have considered that one man take x days so therefore i will say that therefore a man will take 18 days to work alone to finish the वर्क ए मैन विल टेक एटीन डेज टू फिनिश दी वर्क ओके अ मैन टेक एटीन डेज ओके एटीन डेज टू फिनिश द वर्क ओके अ मैन टेक एटीन डेज टू फिनिश द वर्क यस गॉट इट राइट सो दिस इज अवर problem number 27 okay fine now let us see 28th problem what is 28th problem 28th problem a train covered a certain distance at uniform speed if the train had been 30 km per hour faster it would have taken 2 hour less than the scheduled time if the train were slower by 15 km per hour it would have taken 2 hour more then the scheduled time find length of the journey okay so this problem is again i think little bit similar to the previous problems okay you have to okay understand the problem practically okay always think practically that what is asked and what will be the situations and then you will be in a better position to frame the linear equations and solve it now here in these two questions uh i was not able to frame the linear equation because for linear equation the degree of variable should be 1 but here you say that i have 1 upon x 1 upon y so i have used the substitution method to get the solution okay they have asked me to solve the problem they haven't asked me to first convert in linear equation and then solve but you can do that thing you can assume 1 upon x as a 1 upon y as b and solve right okay so try this problem i will also solve this problem in our next class but uh, before you come to the next class kindly see to it that you are able to solve this problem or not if you are not able to solve this problem then i think you have to revise the word problems again to understand how to get informations from the word problem okay thank you